Hello dear friends of acceptance tests! Of course, we also have integrated safety functionalities in our Digi Demo machine, as well as in our inverters. In the following video, we will show you how you can efficiently carry out the safety acceptance test for Synamics inverters. In this video, we want to show you how easy and fast the safety integrated function of Synamics can be approved. Why do you need acceptance test? The EG Machinery Directive and DIN EN ISO 13849-1 require the testing of safety relevant functions and machine parts after commissioning as part of the so-called acceptance test. How the acceptance test is carried out is the responsibility of the machine builder. An individual approach can of course be established which must confirm the standards and ensure the corresponding documentation of the process. The safety integrated acceptance test, which is included in Synamic StarDrive Advanced, supports the validation of the machine. This configuration test, which is specified in the drive standard DIN EN 61800-5-2, is intended to detect potential project planning errors and document the correct function, like parameter setting matches the machine. To do this, an intuitive tool is offered in StarDrive that guides you step by step through the acceptance of the safety functions. At the end, you will receive a finished standard compliant documentation which can be attached to the machine documentation. This means an easy handling and that you save a lot of time. Now we want to show you how easily the acceptance test works directly in the TIA portal. For this purpose, we will go online in the project on the first drive. The basic commissioning as well as the commissioning of the safety integrated functions have already been carried out. In the project tree, you can see that a new functionality has been added, the acceptance test. Now we start with the acceptance of the safety integrated functions. On this page, you can see which safety integrated functions are available in the drive. Now we select the acceptance of safe talk off, safe sub one and safe limited speed and take over the function selection. In the project tree of the acceptance test, you can now see that the functions have been taken over. First of all, the safe acquisition of the actual value is checked under the mechanical system. However, we skip this and start directly with the acceptance of safe step 1. Above, you can see the workflow through which you are guided step by step through the acceptance procedure. All steps include instructions on what actions the operator must perform and what drive behavior he must check. First, select how you want to move the drive, via the control panel in the TIA portal or via the application program. As a rule, the system is already fully commissioned and could move the access directly via the operating panel or via the HMI on site. We use the control panel for the demonstration. At the top of the workflow, you can see that you have to enter a speed reference value for the drive. To do this, we take the master control via the control panel and set a speed set point for the drive. The actual values show that the drive has reached the speed. Via next, you can switch to the next step. Check here whether the correct motor is rotating. After checking that the correct axis is rotating, we select SS1. The LED shows that SS1 is now active. You can then switch to the next step. After the motor has decelerated and comes to a standstill, the master control can be returned so that you can switch to the next step. The acceptance test automatically created a trace with the most important parameters. The trace can be used to check that the drive is decelerating in accordance with the specifications and that the state of the safety signals is correct. During the braking process, Safe Stop 1 was active and after ramping down, the drive changed to Safe Talk Off. In addition, the drive was decelerated at the right time. So the trace is ok and everything looks fine. The next step is to deselect SS1. The deselection of SS1 can be checked via the LED. The acceptance test can now be completed. Although not all functions have been accepted yet, we create a report directly from the acceptance test and save the file directly on the desktop. Now we open the protocol. On the first page, you can enter the machine type, serial number, a picture of the machine and further manufacturer data. The 
the checksums as well as the safety integrated relevant parameters are automatically exported from the drive to the drive overview and no manual documentation is required. The functional test sheet provides an overview of the individual test steps. The mechanics, safe talk off and safely limited speed have not yet been tested. In safe stop 1, each step was completed with OK. It is particularly nice that the trace has been automatically integrated in the report, just as we set it during the check. The protocol also contains all necessary signature fields. Finally, the complete report can be printed and enclosed with the machine documentation. Now you have seen how you can do the acceptance test very efficiently. Good luck with the implementation. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.